Hey folks, welcome to Do It Yourself with Dennis. Today, we're going to color my wife's hair. We're going to use One and Only's new Argan Oil hair color. We're going to color her hair to a 5CH, which is a light chocolate brown. So, thanks for watching my video. Let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is mix it up. Now this is a little different. A lot of hair colors take one part color and one part developer. We're using 20 developer. They've got 10, 20, 30, 40, depending on how much lift you need. You mix this color two to one, or one to two actually. One part color and two part developer. So got our handy dandy little color mixing bowl here. The other nice thing about this is that it's two applications. You can color your hair twice with this. The tube is, uh, the color is um, three ounces and the developer six ounces. So you only need half of that <clears throat> to, uh, according to their instructions, to color your hair. So uh, the mixing bowl that we use has um, graduated uh, marks over here for ounces two three four so I'm gonna uh, measure out three ounces of developer <clears throat> in the bowl because it's a six ounce bottle and I'm gonna use half of it so there's three then I'm gonna measure out um, an ounce and a half of color. Color's got graduated marks on the tube. It's a three ounce tube. So basically if you squeeze it out down to an ounce and a half, that means you've got an ounce and a half in the mix. So it's got a little point in the middle of the cap for piercing a uh, seal. You just take that, take that point in the cap and uh, press it on there like that to make a hole. And then basically squeeze it out till you're to the uh, ounce and a half mark. I'm not a professional at this, so any professionals that want to criticize my technique, go ahead and do it. But just know that I'm a rank amateur. I've colored my wife's hair before, so we're not like totally guinea pigging her today. That's half the two. Fair warning, guys, if you haven't done this before to your wife's hair, about now is when it starts stinking really bad. Uh, and then I've got a little brush that we use to put the color on her hair with. And um, so I'm going to just use the end of it to start mixing this up. You want to get it mixed together really good. All right, so that should be mixed up good. You want to use gloves because this stuff will color anything it gets on. So I just use shop gloves, like vinyl gloves. This is my lovely wife. <laughs> this is her hair color now. Yep. So we're going to use this 5CH color. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, you need a cape. And if you don't have a cape, you need a um, like a garbage bag. Just cut a hole in the garbage bag and... That way you can keep, you don't want to get this color on anything else. Take the uh, color brush. You basically, you want to divide her hair into uh, four sections. So right down the middle. I, you know, I don't know how accurate you have to be with this because I just kind of make sure that I get it all colored. They tell you uh, you should divide it into four sections, so that's what I do. For the most part and then kind of go like behind her ear and split it, you know, that way, kind of like so. And then you just start applying it into, you're gonna pull like half inch uh, pieces of, of hair or uh, sections of hair and start coloring it. 
and I work from the roots out because usually the roots have to, they want their roots to get colored more than the rest of the hair anyway, so I started the roots. That way they get a little more color than the rest. And then you kind of want to be careful not to get it like a, a lot of it like on their skin and like on their ears and stuff. It'll come off, but I think some, some people's skin, it doesn't come off as easy as others. So it's okay if you get some on there. You just don't want it to be a, a ton. And so basically all I'm doing is I'm taking the cup and just like I'm painting and I'm taking, I'm dipping the brush in there and getting color on it. And then, uh, and then like getting up underneath, if you can see that, yeah, like so getting up underneath and then getting the roots on this side too. And you can take the, you can take the little brush and get up underneath there like that. Get some more color. And essentially you're just gonna keep going through her hair to make sure that you get all the roots kind of top and bottom. You don't want to work on sections any any bigger than about a half inch. And then just kind of even it out as you go. You want to make sure that you don't leave any like hard uh, brush lines. You want to smooth everything out and blend it in as you go. You kind of want to keep up with your time as you're applying it, but you're really not going to start timing until you're done. Um, but you want to move, you know, you want to work fairly quickly so that you don't have the color on half of her head, you know, 15 minutes longer than the rest of her head. And then, you know, what I'll do like around like here, you know, is I'll get, I'll get her roots pretty good and then blend it. And then if I get too much on her skin, I'll take a, a rag or a paper towel or something and, and wipe it off. But around these areas where hair, you know, bleeds into the skin, make sure you smooth it out well, but get the roots covered. And then I'll kind of go back through and make sure that I got all the roots covered pretty well. And then I'll take that section and go ahead and finish it off because I've gotten the roots now. So now I can, now I can start getting all the middle. So before I get, before I start getting all of the sides, I go, I go ahead and, and get like all the roots all the way around on all four sections, basically. And all I'm doing basically is I'm getting the roots, I'm going in and I'm laying over about another half inch of hair and then getting the, the bottom side of that section and the top of the next section so that I've got good coverage on all of the, all the roots. You know, you want to really get the areas especially that like if, if um, like in here, you know, where they, when they pull their hair back, the, all of that part shows and up underneath here, the part that shows when they pull their hair up, you don't want to have any funky color lines there. You don't want to have any places that you missed because it'll kind of stick out like a sore thumb. So you want to make sure you get all that too on these back sections. And same kind of thing, you just peel off kind of half inch chunks at a time and make sure that you're getting the roots really good. So then, once you've got all the roots done, now you're going to start getting all the other hair in the the field, you know, in the the rest of her 
hair. And you're, again, you're smoothing, you're kind of blending it in and you want to make sure that you get up underneath too. Um, <clears throat> you do it kind of the same way you do the roots, is just take smaller chunks of hair and blend it in as you go and work your way down. Alright, so I've gone through each section and I've done the roots and I've, I've taken half inch sections of hair and made sure that I've gotten everything wetted out all the way through, all the way to the bottom. And so then what I always do is I always take, it's one of the reasons I wear gloves, I always take her hair and kind of work the color in all the way through it just to kind of, I've already smoothed it all out with a brush, you know, and evened it in, or uh, blended it in rather. But then I try to take her hair and just make sure that I've worked it all the way through her hair so that I haven't missed any strands and that I don't have like any, you know, globs of color. I've gone around, I've made sure I've gotten all of her roots uh, back here. I've gotten some, you know, on her skin, but it'll come off. you got to kind of scrub it off. but. And then once you've done that, uh, if you miss any spots, you know, touch them up. And then basically once you're, once all the hair is wet, then you're going to start your timing. This particular hair color takes, uh, for regular plain old color application, is 30 minutes. So we're going to start timing it now. And in 30 minutes, then she's going to rinse her hair out. And we'll be back then. Alright, so what we're doing is it takes about 15 minutes to put it on. Then it says to let the color process for another 15 minutes. You want a total 30 minute processing time. So that's what we're doing now. And then as soon as that's over, um, then I'm going to rinse her hair in the sink. And you're going to rinse it until the water runs clear. You're trying to wash all the solution out of her hair. Then after that, she'll, she'll shampoo her hair. A side note, uh, make sure that you wear something that you don't care about. Because if you get any of that stuff on your clothes, it turns it whatever color you're dyeing her hair. So make sure you're wearing like a work shirt or something. You still want to keep your gloves on because you're still going to be dealing with the solution. Get the water the way you want it and then however you're going to do it in the tub or the sink or whatever. And then basically get her under the, get her under the water and you're going to just rinse it out. It's going to foam up a little bit, but you're just going to rinse it out all over until the, the water in the sink or the tub, whichever runs clear. You can also help her out where the places where it's on her skin, go ahead and try to rub it off a little bit. That'll get most of it off of her skin. So now what she's going to do is she's going to uh, shampoo and condition her hair. Then she can dry it and it'll be it'll be all done. It's all done. Um, she's uh, shampooed it, conditioned it, and dried it. So now you can kind of see the color a little bit better. It's uh, because uh, I was careful to blend it in. The color's nice and even. It's smooth. You don't have splotchy places or lines or anything like that. As you can tell, it's nice and uh, it's nice and smooth and even. This is supposed to be a medium chocolate brown. I'll be honest, when we were putting it on and as it started developing, it was showing a lot of red. And it kind of made my wife nervous because it looked like it was going to be really red. But now that it's rinsed out and shampooed and conditioned, it's fine. It's exactly like what she was expecting. And her hair is nice and soft. It's silky. It's got a, you can see it's got a good shine to it. And her hair feels real good. It's not like dry or anything. So, um, anyway, it turned out pretty good. Okay, so that's it. If you follow those directions, then you will be able to color your wife's or your girlfriend's or your mother's hair, whoever you want to color. Um, 
Thanks for watching my video and uh, checking out my channel. Please subscribe. Give me a like down below on the video if you would. And uh, if you've got comments, if you're a professional or an amateur like me, I'm not even a good amateur. I've only done this a handful of times. But if you've got comments about the coloring process or what I did wrong or anything like that, leave them in the comments below. I'd be glad to hear them. And if you have questions about what I did, leave those too, and I'll answer uh, any questions that I can that I'm capable of answering. So. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you back soon. God bless.